Hi everyone, Lizzie Murray here with Sparrow's Nest, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can take a $2 Goodwill picture frame and turn it into a really cool chalkboard. This is really easy, super cheap to do. So a couple things that I want to mention is that you want to look for a picture frame that is solid wood. Chalk paint sticks better to solid wood. I tried it on plastic picture frames that I thought were wood and they weren't, and that did not go over too well. So a lot of these picture frames will have really strange backing for some reason. You want to take a screwdriver, I think this is like a flathead, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. And kind of want to just, I already popped these up, but just see they're held in by staples, you can kind of just pop them up to get the picture frame out. Once you, once you pop them all up, you're going to take your glass, you're going to Guard whatever weird, ugly picture is in this. So you're gonna have your picture frame, you're gonna have your glass, you wanna keep the backing. If you paint just directly on this the chalk paint, what's gonna happen? It's gonna scratch off, and you do not want that. So you can get any primer, sealer that you can find. You're gonna wanna put about two or three coats on this before we start putting the chalk paint over it. The you're going to need for this project are a solid wood picture frame, primer, your black chalk paint, whatever color chalk paint you want to use for your chalkboard frame, a paintbrush, sandpaper blocks. You can either use fine or medium. I tend to like to use the fine. Polycrylic protective finish. This is my absolute favorite. The clear mat just goes on really, really nice. Your first step is you're gonna wanna remove the backing from your picture frame. This particular one had staples holding the backing together. It might look nerve wracking to take this picture frame apart, but it's actually quite easy. You're gonna take your flathead screwdriver and you just wanna pry those staples up. Once all those staples are pried up, you can carefully take the glass and backing out of your picture frame. Lay your piece of glass on a flat surface. I like to use a piece of cardboard. You want to clean off your glass. I just clean my glass off with a wet paper towel and then dry it off. You want to apply your first coat of primer with either a paintbrush or a foam brush and you want to brush your strokes all in one direction. This first layer of primer, you're going to want to wait for it to dry about two to four hours before you apply that second coat. After that second coat of primer is completely dry, you can apply your first coat of chalk paint. Paint all your strokes in one direction. While you're waiting for your black chalk paint to dry, you can start on painting your frame. I applied two coats of chalk paint to my frame, waiting an hour to dry in between coats. Once your second coat of chalk paint is dry on your frame, you can either leave it as it is if you just want to go for that solid frame look. To create that rustic antique look, you're going to want to do what is called distressing the frame. You're going to take that sanding sponge and you're going to gently remove some of the paint, allowing the underlying wood to show through with an emphasis on the edges of that frame. Once you like the look of how your frame looks, you are going to want to seal that frame with polyacrylic protective finish. Now the last thing you're going to want to do to your chalkboard is to prime it. To prime your chalkboard, you just take a piece of chalk and you cover your entire board with the chalk. Once that chalkboard is completely covered with that chalk, you want to take a dry paper towel or rag and you're gonna wipe that chalk off until you can no longer see it. Now you're ready to put your picture frame all back together. Place the glass and backing back into the frame and using that flathead screwdriver, you're just gonna bend those staples back into place. Once you have your picture frame back together, you can see that you have a lovely chalkboard that is ready to be hung and written on. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. Feel free to comment below and I'll answer any of the questions that you may have. You can find the written instructions for this DIY project at my website, 
www.thesparrowsnest.site. I've included the link below in the description section along with the links to all the supplies I used in this project and all the ways that you can connect with me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in.